I make videos for normal dog owners. I make videos for real people. 99% of the population, 95% of the population does not want to sit there and have treats and wave them in front of their dog. This video is going to be loose leash walking with a small dog. You guys are always like, Joel, we want more reactive dogs. We want, uh, your, the dog wasn't reactive enough. The reason the dog wasn't reactive enough is because we, the method that I do when we first leave the house, which I've talked to you about. We do the method of stopping, turning around at the door. So the dog is 50% better. And you guys are always like, we want more reactive dogs. So against everything in my being, I am letting this dog pull me. I'm just, the, the, you want the worst dogs? However, think about it. I'm not saying she's the worst dog. I'm letting her pull. Fixing leash reactivity, do what I do where I put the leash on, dog leaves me at the door, I turn around. That helps leash reactivity 50%. Boom, within a minute, two minutes, it helps leash reactivity. I'm letting the dog pull because that's what you guys want. So I did let her fly out the door. I'm letting her pull me down the street. However, think about it. Don't let your dog do this. This is the opposite of how to have a dog be not reactive. We're gonna see some dogs up here. Hopefully they're gonna run out. I'm letting her pull. I think she knows where they are. So I'm gonna start the loose leash walking method now. I'm not gonna start it when this dog flips out, just like I tell you guys. By the time your dog flips out, you kind of lost. So I let her pull. I didn't do my doorway thing, but I am now going to start the method because I know we're approaching dogs. Ready? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to release this leash a little bit. I'm going to stop gently, and the dog's gonna hit the end of the leash gently on a normal collar. Okay. Okay. Good girl. We are going to throw, Bailey, some reinforcement in there. You guys saw what just happened. I'm not saying the dog's gonna be perfect, but you saw ever so slightly when I stopped, come on. Ever so slightly, then reinforcement. I'm not even giving a correction. Dog's just simply, okay, hitting the end of the leash. Check in right there, check in right there. Good girl. If you let a dog do what she was doing, your dog is going to flip out at other dogs. Then you saw me basically do two tiny little stops where I released my arm so that the leash was loose. The dog hit the end, here's these dogs coming up. And reinforce. She saw the dogs, I saw the dogs, I instantly stopped. She hit the end of the leash, good girl. We're gonna give good girls. I am not going to do what so many people do and sit here and go, please look at me, please look at me doggy, please look at me doggy. I'm not doing it. No one wants to bring treats with them everywhere. Nobody. Good girl, loose leash. Little growl at the dogs. I don't really care about a growl. I care about a lunge and a bark. That's criteria for correction, a lunge and a bark. This is perfect. Little stop and correct. I'm not begging her with treats. I'm giving her treats for looking at me. One is proactive, one is reactive. They're actually both proactive, but dog here, dogs everywhere. Leaving me gets a correction looks at me, gets a treat, without begging the dog. Come on, come on, come on, no cues. The cue to walk well is that the leash is on her. Beautiful stop next to me. This is the gauntlet. This is nuttiness. Leaving me, gets a correction. Good girl. Good girl. She got treats for, she got treats for looking at me on her own. Rarely was I saying her name. I could, 
I don't want to ask, I don't want to talk to the dog constantly. I don't want to constantly give cues. Let's go back through here. I just want the dog to act right and the cue to not lunge and bark. Stop and correct. Good girl. Little snap, got her attention. Keep her on your left. Is this within criteria? Hey! Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So, <clears throat> this was a dog that was crazy on the walk, pulling. I let her pull the whole time. The minute I saw a dog, I want you guys to get this down. The minute I saw a dog, I released my arms to make the leash loose, and then I stopped, I bent down, and I gave a correction to the side. That instantly got the dog into a different state of mind. I then reinforced. I then took maybe two steps. She was like back to, I'm gonna go see those dogs. I stopped, I did it again. Then she was kinda on my page, so I kept walking. Criteria to stop is the dog leaving you, right? The dog just leaving you. That is not, that was perfect. She's with me. You have to have your dog have split focus. So they have to be walking going, I wanna bark and lunch at those dogs, but where's this guy? Oh, I wanna bark at those dogs, but where's this guy? That's the key, it's the key to everything. The treat in front of them thing, um, someone the other day was like, well, why don't you do the tried and true method of, of doing this while you pass dogs? Because it's not tried and true. It's not even close to tried and true. Plus, I make videos for normal dog owners. I make videos for real people. 99% of the population, 95% of the population does not want to sit there and have treats and wave them in front of their dog. If there is a better way that doesn't hurt the dog in any way, I'm, not use, I'm using a normal collar. Nothing I did hurt the dog. If there is a better way, let's do it. I don't want a bunch of, I don't want to always have to have treats. Not that it even works, but I don't even want to have them. I don't want to have certain collars. I want a normal deal and to be able to go on a walk normally. That's what my people want. That's what my clients want. That's why we've been successful. We're not telling you guys to get all this stuff and do this. Dude, just go on a normal walk. Apply the stop and pop method, but you got to understand what to do body-wise. Stop, release those arms. Let the dog leave you. Leave me and go bark at those dogs. Pop. And stay right there. Just like my doorway method. When you're like, I'll say, I'll do this all day. I would have, if the dog didn't look at me, if she wouldn't have looked at me after that little pop, if I took one more step and she left, pop, I took one more, like a step like this, left, pop, I would have said, you're not able to handle this. I'm not gonna sit here and have, just pop you all day. We're gonna turn the other way, get her refocused. Okay, you with me this way? Then we would have flipped back around and dealt with those dogs again while she's on my page. And I would have stopped and she would have said, oh, what's up, Joel? Treated and we worked our way through them. But you gotta turn around sometimes too if the dog can't handle it. Right, you know the stop and pop, you also know the stop, pop, and turn. The turn is very valuable. It's what I do at the doorway in the house or in my office that you've seen many videos of. It's the same method when you're, when you're on a walk. So, you guys wanted me to have a dog that's more leash reactive. She's leash reactive and I let her pull me all the way on this walk till we saw those dogs. All right, I'm trying to still get you guys the worst dogs. It's, obvious, it's my goal, you know it's my goal. Um, she was pretty good, but the methods work so good that the dogs are helped s soon. If you do what I do, you're, I'm not saying it's gonna be fixed. This is complicated stuff. Leash reactivity is right up there with aggression and separation anxiety as really complex issues that take time and every dog is different and every person's physical ability is different. But if you do this, this is, in my opinion, the single best way to help leash reactivity. The single best. But you gotta do all the steps. You gotta do the doorway stuff. Then you gotta do the stuff when you see the dog. Okay? That's the method. Small dog stuff. You guys also want small dog stuff. So, that's the method. Um, subscribe to the channel. And that's it.